So one of the real challenges with asset management in Final Cut Pro is that uh, your project file can be completely separate from your media. And uh, we're hoping that in the future that Final Cut has a better way of handling that. But right now, that's the nature of the beast. It's what we have to live with. And uh, uh, fortunately, there are some really smart people uh, from a company called Edit Mule that have created this little magical program called Auto Scratch that helps solve that problem. So let's start by opening a project file. And uh, of course, when we open that project file, we look at our system settings and our scratch disks are all set for scratch disk one. Um, I, open project, I open project one, it's scratch disk one. Great, that's wonderful. Now, the problem is when I open scratch disk or when I open filmmaking webinars two, go to our system preferences and everything is still set for scratch disk one, which can be a real problem if you have a hard drive for each of your projects, for instance. So let's look at what Edit Mule Auto Scratch does to help that problem. So the first thing you do is you do a command I on the project file and where it says open with, you change that to Edit Mule Auto Scratch and then go ahead and hit change all um, so that every time you open a Final Cut project, instead of opening Final Cut, it opens Edit Mule. Um, and you'll see how this works. It's really pretty cool. So if you remember, our scratch disk was set to uh, scratch disk one. I'm gonna open Filmmaking Webinars 2. Gives me this dialog box that asks, do I wanna create a link, use existing link, or open ignore? In this case, I'm going to choose create a link. And it brings up this floating dialog box asking me if I'm finished editing the system settings. So we're gonna leave that alone for now and let Final Cut start. And once Final Cut is open, I'm going to go to my system settings and I'm going to choose scratch disk two. And I'm gonna set all of these to scratch disk two. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna say, yes, I'm finished editing system settings. It closes Final Cut and opens it back up again. Now, what Edit Mule Auto Scratch does is it keeps a little database of all of your project files and all of the scratch disks so that when you open a project file, it sets the scratch disk. So let me show you, for instance, now I've opened Filmmaking Webinars 2 and you see everything is set to scratch disk 2, all right? So we're done working with uh, Filmmaking Webinars 2. I'm going to close that tab and now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start working on Filmmaking Webinars 1 open that project and it's asking me whether or not I want to use the link and I'm going to do that because I've already set that previously. It opens Final Cut and you'll see that once Final Cut is open, we'll go up to our system settings and what you see is that everything now has been set to one which matches our project file. So you can see how this could be a really powerful tool. Um, for instance, like I said, if you assign a hard drive to each of your projects, now all of a sudden, all of your project files and all of your media stay together in one place. And that's a really powerful tool when you're trying to control your assets in Final Cut.